Like something good is about to happen
for the desire and ability to be in God's house one more time. Amen. I'm thankful for that this morning. Yes, sir. We're going to begin reading in Isaiah 59 and 16. And he saw that there was no man. Somebody say no man. No man. And wondered that there was no intercessor. 
I like how the AMP PC puts it. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. No one to intervene on behalf of truth and right. No one to intervene on the behalf of truth and right. And I'm going to ask Bishop to pray over the message this morning. You, God, we love you. God, we praise you. God, for your spirit in this place today. We praise you, God, that we know, Lord, that you hear us today and you hear our cries and you see our needs, Lord. God, we ask, Lord, for you just anoint your messenger today, anoint our hearts and ears to receive your word. We'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before you're seated this morning, I want you to look at somebody near and dear and tell them, intercede! 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 And you may be seated. Intercede meaning step in, take action. Uh-oh, Brother Jordan. Get involved. To plead in behalf of another. When's the last time you can truly say that you interceded for someone? Are we awake this morning? Is that a subject that's going to go over within your spirit? When's the last time that you truly interceded for someone? Numbers 16th chapter and beginning with the 42nd verse says, And it came to pass when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that, there, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. You see, all of a sudden, pride and selfishness and rebellion had risen up against God's anointed, Moses and Aaron, in this passage of Scripture this morning. But you see, they didn't just gather up against what they thought was going to be Moses and Aaron. They were gathered up against the work of the Lord. That's right. I said they had gathered up against the work of the Lord. Amen. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And you know what Moses and Aaron did? As you well know because you're reading along with me. The word says they fell upon their faces. Right, right. They didn't just sit there on their backsides. They fell on their faces right. in intercession. You see, when things did not go the way the congregation wanted, they rose up against the leaders. They rose up against God. But Moses and Aaron, they didn't take time. They didn't, first of all, they didn't have time. They didn't take time to be offended by the actions of others because they were intercessors. Are we awake this morning? Are we awake this morning? They were intercessors for the children of God. You see, I think in 2023, we've been offended long enough. I think that went out with 2020. We've been offended long enough. We've got to lay down hurt feelings and offenses. You see, God is looking for intercessors, not a record keeper of wrongdoings. I said God is looking for intercessors in this house this morning. Amen. And even though this is a challenging task, I want you to remember that the next time someone offers you a grave offense. I want you to remember that when they rise up against you. Will you lift your mouth up to about them or on them or your hands maybe? Or will you fall to your face and intercede on their behalf? Because can I tell you, when they rise up against you, when that offense comes to you, that person, that enemy has exposed their need for you to intercede on their behalf. Is that you this morning? Will you be an intercessor? Or will you be the one that issues the offense? That's your two options right there if you ask me. And Moses said unto Aaron, I want you to take a censer. And it's a Hebrew word, maktal. A fire holder. Somebody grab that offering pan for me. 
Okay, I'll go get it myself. Thank you, Brother Marcus. Thank you, Sister Shana Marie. I want you to grab that sensor. I want you to grab that, that thing that holds the fire. But you see, that thing that held the fire was not just sitting on a seat somewhere up under somebody's backside. That thing that held the fire was up there around the altar that is being lit from day to day in this place. Come on. We're going somewhere. Moses said unto Aaron, I want you to take that fire holder and put fire therein from off the altar. You see, they had just learned in the passage before that what strange fire was. What strange fire truly was. Fire right here is a Hebrew word, esh. And it means a blazing, a burning Burning coals, fiery, flaming. And I like this one, a supernatural fire. Yeah. Somebody say a supernatural fire. Yeah. Can I tell you this morning that there is, is a supernatural fire at this altar in this church? Come on. Come on. Mighty God, you see it is worth it to keep some fire burning yeah. on this altar. That's why I tried and tried to get everybody to, to come and pray during the week, not just on Sundays. But come and pray in any day and every day, ending in why around this altar. Keep that fire lit because you see there's coming a time, and I think now is the time, that we need this altar lit on fire like never before. Yeah, right. Amen. It's so So Moses tells Aaron to go and grab the, the fire holder. And here we have it. We've got the fire on the altar. Mighty God. And he said, I want you to put on incense. The Hebrew word there, katorath. An odor of a burning. The odor of the burning. You see, I tell you this morning that my sacrifice has a smell. My sacrifice has a smell this morning. You can be asleep to it. You can be blind to it. And you can throw a dead fear to it. But my sacrifice has a smell to it. I wonder if you can smell it in the house this morning. Can you smell the sacrifice of praise in the house this morning? You see, when my prayer is unanswered and I praise, when tears run down,
Brother Jordan, if you will, come up and help me. I want you to take that fire holder and I want you to lay it right over here on this side of the altar. Because you see, through, through worship and praise, we have attempted to light this altar or keep it lit this morning. Did you do your part this morning? Did you do your part this morning? Well, if you did not do your part, I promise you, you're fixing to get your opportunity to do your part. And some may say, well, I don't, I don't do like you do. And that, that, not many people do, and that's fine. But can I tell you that worship, worshiping the one true God looks absolutely nothing like this. <laughs> worshiping God looks absolutely nothing like this. Holding in hands. You better let them hands go and let them rise up to the one true living God. Because the praise, it has begun. The fall has begun. Right, right. And Moses tells Brother Aaron, and thankfully, he was faithful to his brother. Aaron was faithful to his brother. And Aaron took as Moses commanded, and he ran into the midst of the congregation. I said he took it, and he ran in the midst of the complex fire holder. Take a fire holder. Somebody get him his fire holder. <laughs> morning with that. Stay right where you're at, brother. <laughs> so that tells me that to be an intercessor, you got to get up and you got to do something. Uh, you can't just sit there. This is 2023 and we are closer and closer to the coming of the Lord. We do not have time to sit down on those backsides and become comfortable. Or do you realize, do you really realize how desperately in need you really are for intercession for your family? Or will you resist this word that God spoke to me and I cannot get away from it? Tell them intercede. Tell them intercede. Or will you let pride rise up in your heart this morning? Go ahead and let pride rise up in that heart. Because that Holy Spirit is going before a fall. begun. The fall, even in this place, it has begun. I said it has begun. Unfortunately, it has begun. And he put on the incense and he made an atonement. He made intercession for the people. Brother Jordan, do you have a sacrifice this morning? Anybody that has a, an unanswered prayer in their life, I want you to raise at least one hand. All over the house. See, we can raise our hands. We can raise our hands this morning. You come into the house of God, you are given a sacrifice of praise. Your presence is a sacrifice of praise this morning. And it will be a sweet savor to go up to the Lord. He will smell that sacrifice. Does your, do you realize that your sacrifice has a smell this morning? Just as a stinking rotten attitude has a nasty smell. My sacrifice, it has a smell. And you know, I'm reminded of another running intercessor. You see, the prodigal son's father, he broke protocol. He became undignified when he caught a glimpse of his wayward son 
that was once dead, he said it, but now is alive. And he shot at Brandon. Why? Run! 
Sister Nana, for listening to the Holy Ghost. Oh, we got another one. Ha <laughs> I said we got another one this morning. Go ahead and grab hold of that fire holder, sis. She don't care what she looks like. She's in her seat this morning. Go ahead. Keep Hallelujah. on walking. Hallelujah. Get the other off the plate. Get that other fire holder. It's back there with Sister Shana. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We got issues. The plague has begun. We got issues. The plague has begun. Pass that pan off to another. Sister Rada, she's right behind you. Coming up behind you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on. You know you want to be there. You know you want to be next. Can I tell you that the plague, it has begun. The stumbling has begun. The falling has begun. What are you going to do about it this morning? Come on, let's worship the Lord. All over the house, if you ain't going to be obedient, let's worship. Come on. Lift your hands up. Begin to cry out all over the building. I love Thank you, Lord. Go ahead. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hallelujah. God, you are good in this place. I believe he's making a way. Oh, I believe he's making a way where there seems to be no way. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You said it's going to sit there and you're going to get out this line. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're dead.
righteous, upright and in right standing with God, will you spare the city? If there's 50 righteous, I want you to look at it this morning as if, if I am 50%, will you not destroy me, God? If I, if I am 50% involved with you, will you not destroy me? God, of course, tells Abraham, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, I will spare all the place for their sakes. Abraham knew that there was not 50. He goes on and he says, well, what about 45? Are you serving God 45% today? Abraham goes on to say, what about 40, God? And he says, for the sake of 40, I will spare this place. Are you running on 40% this morning? You see, you know you better than anybody else other than God. Are you running on 40%? There's hope for you. I will spare that place. It goes on to say, what about 30? Yes, I will spare 30. What about 20? I will spare for the 20. What about 10? I will spare for 10. There wasn't 10 people that was upright and living in, in good right standing with God. Are you 10%? See, you know your percentage. We can all fake it. Are you at 10% today? Can I tell you that God will work with you? Even at 10%. You gotta give God a little bit. You gotta give God a little bit. What percentage are you running on today with God? What percentage are you running on with today with God? All over the house, I want us to raise and lift our hands and begin to cry out and intercede for the loved ones that are not here with you this morning. Intercede for that loved one that you want to see walk. Is that you this morning? Your strength, all that stuff. 
But I can't.